Okay, we're going to allow each candidate a closing statement now, and then we can all go home. So, let's see. Here, I believe it's your turn. Mm -hmm. All right. I wanted to again thank you for coming. Thank you to the Clark County Republican Party Committee for putting this on. And again, it's not always easy planning events. I went through a lot of my life just going to them. But this past year with student government, we had several that it adds on uh, a new perspective as far as to the degree of planning them. And even if they're small ones, and there's always intricacies that you don't plan on. And, and so thank you for that to all, all you who, who put, this, put this together. Um, but I wanted to remind you of a few things that you'll be able to count on me for if you elect me as your next state representative. My Christian faith does come first. I will always work hard. I always lead with integrity. And I will always listen. I want to leave you with a few quotes that I've thought about a lot in the past several months. The first one is by Albert Einstein. It's, we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. Right now, our state has many problems. I believe it's a time when we need independent perspectives. We need people to look at things from different angles um, than when the problems were created. The next is from C.S. Lewis. It's humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. I also think that one of our biggest problems with our politicians and our government today, that they, that they consider themselves kings, when they really should consider themselves as servants. Our leaders must put others before themselves. And a lot of that goes back to listening. Listening, recognizing you do not have all the answers. There's always someone who knows more than you do about every, every issue. And the last is by Ronald Reagan. That is, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. Our state and country are at a very pivotal point in our history. Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. Many people say young people don't care. I'm here today to tell you that we do. And that is why I'm here. And we don't want that generation Ronald Reagan spoke of to be ours. Um, and I guess also just wanted to let you guys know um, my bodyguards, as someone called them earlier. <laughs> Mr. Randall said, uh, we'll be here, and they, they've got palm cards and stuff to pass out as you're leaving it. And it, does, it has my cell phone number on there. If you have any questions, give me a call if you want to talk. Give me a call. Um, I definitely would like that opportunity before, before you go to vote. Or maybe you got all your answer, questions answered today. In that case, that'd be all right, too. But thanks again, and I sure would appreciate your vote on August 3rd in the Republican primary.